A bipartisan group of senators announcing on Sunday it's reached a general agreement on new gun legislation. It's an agreement in principle and not legislative text. The details of the deal will be critical for Republicans, particularly the firearms-related provisions. Twenty senators, including the ten Republicans necessary to avoid a filibuster, released a statement on Sunday, saying in part, Today we are announcing a common-sense bipartisan proposal to protect America's children, keep our schools safe, and reduce the threat of violence across our country. Included in the agreement, further funding for mental health, incentives for the creation of so-called red flag laws, increased funding for school safety, and strengthening the federal background check system. For buyers under 21 years of age, the deal would require an investigative period to review juvenile and mental health records. In a statement, President Biden saying, obviously it does not do everything that I think is needed, but it reflects important steps in the right direction. The House has been working on more sweeping actions on gun reform, but those measures would likely fail in the Senate. Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin telling CNN this deal is a baby step he would vote for. It's moving in the right direction. We're glad that the, the Senate is finally uh, awake about this. News of this agreement coming just one day after hundreds of thousands marched in cities across the country calling for tougher gun legislation. We're not taking people's guns away. We're just saying nobody should have military-style weapons to be able to go into schools and, and ch kill n huge numbers of kids within just minutes. March for Our Lives founder David Hogg, a survivor of the 2018 Parkland school shooting, reacting to the deal, tweeting, this is progress, even if small, even if it stops one Parkland, it's worth it. Ike Chachi, ABC News, Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.